do is make up some soap to turn into some embeds. So what I've got here is just some oils and in there is neon pink. Now with the neon pinks, remember neons are a pigment and they're a bit tricky to disperse so therefore I've made sure I've dispersed that really well before I even get my lye solution in there. I'm just going to bring that up to an emulsion by adding my lye solution and sodium lactate. Now this fragrance oil does accelerate a little bit, but that's okay for what I need it for. So let's just put the amount in for that. normally blend a fragrance oil that accelerates in but this is just going to be a solid block and I want it to set up really quickly so I've just given that a little bit of a blend now I don't want this to be too stiff going in because I do want these layers as I'm going to be doing to be as flat as possible up a just a plain black layer so exactly the same process just adding my lye solution to my oils and this has already got as you can probably quite obviously see some activated charcoal in it nicely set up so I'm just going to pour this straight onto the top for our third color block it has to be a combination of the other two so I've got pink I've got black and I now need to do a blacky pink so we need to be careful when we do this because you don't want to just bung in the colours. We need to just make sure we get a colour that's pleasant to look at. So whenever you're blending, and I do this all the time, whether I'm trying to make, a, let's say, for example, a green, I will start with, always start with the lightest colour. So I will start with the yellow and add touches of blue. If you're trying to get an orange, start with the yellow and add touches of red. So here, I want this pink to go a bit darker so I wouldn't start with a black and try and make it go pink because that would be really difficult. So I'm just going to go in with my activated charcoal, pre-dispersed. And I'm just going to add little bits at a time because I just want to darken this pink off, make it sort of go like a dusky pink really. Enough to give me a contrast from what I've had before, but not enough to turn it all ugly and horrible. Okay, so I think I need a bit more than that, that's not enough contrast. One more go I think. I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, I think that will do. That's definitely going to move it away from the pink towards the black, but I've still got a nice, it's going to get that lovely sort of dusky rose colour. I really like that. So that is me done.
Okay, so I am very happy with that colour. I really do like it. Definitely, I think I'm going to be using it again. That was neon pink and activated charcoal. Right, got that as straight as I can. Let's cover that and I'm going to put it through gel and we will deal with it tomorrow. So here's our set we made yesterday and I've just unmoulded it. So what I need to do is cut it into long strips of cubes and each of those little cubes needs to be um, 7.6 <laughs> millimetres big. So I want them less than a centimetre. They're going to be tiny weeny little cubes. So all I'm just going to do is I've set my cutter to the appropriate height and I'm just going to get my soap. I've had to get, this is just an old base, a base of a, another acrylic mould and that just gets everything to the right height and I'm going to use this and I'm going to cut off strips at 7.6 first. There we are, I'm going to cut off lots of these and then I'm going to turn them on their side and turn them all into cubes. So <laughs> let's have a go at doing that. Okay, so I've got some nice strips of that black and pink now. And my neon pink that I toned down with some TD. And my couple that I need for my black. Oh, didn't that one a bit. So now what I need to do is turn them on their sides and slice them all through the other way to make strips. I'm not going to do that on camera because obviously it's going to take a little while to do. But I'll come back when I've done that. So I've chopped everything up. I've got some on the screen here, I've got some more over here and more over here. Um, and they look like sort of fat strips, but as you can see, that they do divide into individual little strips where I've chopped them. So what I want to do now is make bigger cubes out of the smaller cubes. So I've got a design that I need to follow so I get the pattern that I want. So I'm going to need one black next to a dark pink. And then on top of the dark pink, so diagonal to the black, I want a bright pink. And then I want another dark pink. Okay, so I'm going to build cubes like that. Now these are pretty fresh, I've literally just cut them. So I am going to gently paint them with some water, so just a tiny bit of distilled water to help them stick. Then I'm going to make sure they're nice and straight and then I'm going to leave them overnight. Okay, so just a tiny bit of water. They so said they're still really fresh, so they don't need much. Now these are cubes, so it shouldn't matter which way I put them together. I'm going to make sure they're pushed together really well. Okay, so I've got my little square cube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do quite a number of those. And then I'm doing the same thing, but for the very edges of my soap. The same style, but can you see with this cube, I've got little cubes on the edge there. So I'm going to just do those and I've cut some smaller bits. So that's what I'm just going to carry on doing. And again, 
I'm not going to do it all on film. I'll do one more bit. So let's make sure I get my pattern right. I've got my picture in front of me. I'm going to a black one. Okay, number two. So I've got to do all of these here. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to just leave them. I'm going to set them nice and straight. And I'm going to leave them so that they just have a chance. So they're not wobbly. Because this is quite, quite loose at the moment. I want them to set together. And I want them to be nice and straight. And fairly stiff. So here are all our embeds that I've made. And you can see they're all nice and flat and straight. What I've done is I've kept them covered. I actually made these yesterday, so I've kept them covered overnight so they don't completely dry out. But there would have been a little bit of egg into them, so they would have stiffened up enough so they're not all floppy and horrible. So what I'm going to now do is build my design. So I need to get some tiny bits of white soap made up. So I'm just going to do that. mold and now I've got to build my design exactly as my image goes so I've got some of these little short embeds that I'm going to tuck in one of those each side And then I want my bigger ones. Okay, look how tight that is. Can you see? So I've got to now try and space those out evenly. turned on for that so I've just poured some soaps in between all those little tiny gaps and just cleaned off the top now you might wonder why I'm cleaning off the top because I'm going to lay some more white there I want the amount of white to always be consistent so if I've got excess from over pour on filling the layers then that's going to water the thickness of the white layer so I want to make sure each white layer is exactly the same Okay, so <laughs> this is all set up, so now the tricky bit, trying to do the next layer without mucking up the first one. Good oh. Right, so let's have a go and get these all round the right way. bottom but without sinking so I'm going to mix up that other bit of soap and then pour that in and then I'm just going to repeat the rest because I'm sure you don't want to watch me fiddling around endlessly with embeds um, as I've been going along the soap that I've had as a little bit of excess I've been making a little bit of excess I'm pouring that off now that's got a bit stiff now but what I'm hoping is as I pour more and more off each time I can keep mixing it in and this will turn into some piping for me you do my life will 
So right now at the top, can you see that this is the very last layer of this soap? So I'm just gonna finish this off. You make me smile, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colour. This isn't super flat because I'm going to pipe on this as well. Okay, but that's gone down nicely. So I'm going to leave that to get a little bit thicker. Now what I've been doing as I've been going through is I've had little spare bits of pour for the white. I, I deliberately poured a little bit more than I needed because I don't want to wait for ages for my piping to set up. So as you can see here, this is pretty thick. So what I've done is each time is I've got the little bit of pour and I've put it into this cup, mixed it all in and it's kept it sort of pliable. I've now just got my final little amount here. And this is always a good thing. You know, if you, if you ever let your piping get too thick, what you can do is loosen it up with some fresh soap. Not so easy if you don't have oils already melted or anything but if you master batch then it's dead easy to just quickly get up that new soap and i find it easiest just put a little bit in at a time if you put a whole load in at once it's very difficult to get it nice and smoothly mixed So what I've got there now, as you can see, is a piping that's pretty well ready to go immediately. Right, so let's get some of this piping done. I've just got a basic leaf tip in here, number 67. I'm not sure if that's a Wilton. It doesn't look like a Wilton tip, but it's got a 67 on it. So Now, I'm not going to try and make these go in between every single bar, I don't think. I don't know. I haven't really decided. This is still a little bit runny, but I think it'll be all right and that'll be good because it can make sure that I can get these little flowers to stick on. I 
So here we are. This is probably about a day and a half later with our soap. So just because timing wise really if I haven't got round to doing it. Now can you see I've got a little bit of overspill on some of those white lines on the outside but that's no problem because I can just plane those little bits off. Right let's see if I can get this lined up with those flowers. inside I'm obviously concerned that I've squished the lines it's all going to be a bit wobbly and horrible because there's so many tiny wee little bits in there weren't there so let's just have a look at a couple inside oh here's the first one. Oh, that's worked really well I mean it's not perfectly perfectly straight but oh, oh I'm really pleased with that gosh Oh, <laughs> I'm really pleased. Oh, I really like those. That was worth all the effort with them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to show you all the way through them. I should just check this other end to make sure I haven't got a major disaster going on with the other end. And then look, <laughs> they look pretty good all the way through. I am really pleased with those. And here's a final photo of the finished soap. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you like the soap. If you have, it would be great if you gave me a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment in the comment section below. These things help my channel to grow and get my videos shown to more people. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Happy soaping!